Okay, now okay. we can see that Jamaluddin Jami, sir, we connected with us. So I request to our respected judge, Mr. Jamaluddin Jami, Director of Career Professional Development Service, to give his speech. Thank you very much. Uh, indeed, I was uh, in, uh, involved with the process from the very beginning. Uh, after the chief guest speech, I shouldn't talk. Just uh, how we categorize the whole thing, I'm just uh, going to talk about it so that the participants can learn a few things from there. Basically, uh, first thing you need to understand, what is a CV? That's a kind of marketing or tool or brochure for you. There are places you are not able to visit, you are not able to go. Like for me, as a judge, when I was uh, just giving marks on your resume, so you were not in front of me, but your resume was. Same thing happens when you uh, seek a job, when you apply for a job. You will not be able to some places, but your resume will go. So your resume should talk on behalf of you over there. So what are the things in your resume have? When a student, a student comes, uh, comes to us in our office uh, with, uh, for getting the help uh, for their internship placement or job placement, first thing I ask that what are the things in your resume you have besides your personal information and educational qualification? These things will determine whether you will be placed or not. What are the things? Whether you have the trainings or extra or co-curricular activities. If you have that things, we call it USP, unique selling propositions of your resume. So everyone, ask yourself whether you have that USP in your resume or not. Based on that, you'll be hired. So today, I mean, in this competition, this was the beginning for you. So you have got now pretty good idea because all the research person shared the idea what the resume should be and what are the components you need to incorporate in your resume. So uh, please do so and think about uh, your resume that what are the things uh, you have in your resume besides your personal and uh, your educational qualifications that will place yourself to the right place because you need to be involved with co and extracurricular activities. You need to take part in different workshops, training programs, the certifications. I mean, the soft skills, hard skills. A lot of speakers have talked about that. These are the things you need to incorporate. How can you incorporate those? Once you take part in these workshops, I mean, once you have the certifications, then you only can incorporate these things in your resume or else it's not possible. So, I mean, you need to mention that what are the USPs you have. So once you have these things, yes, you will be hired in future. The world is going to be really challenging world because the world we saw five months back and the world is coming after five months. Two worlds are going to be the you know, different worlds and huge challenge you'll have to face in future. And if you want to win that challenge, you need to be exceptional. And how can you be exceptional? Of course, you need to be competent enough. You need to be skilled in certain things. So I already mentioned a lot of things. How can be you be skilled? How can you stand out from the crowd? If you can do so, yes, the world is for you. A study was conducted by British Council Economic Intelligence Unit that shows that 47% Bangladeshi graduates are unemployed. And last year, we saw the results that uh, 28 lakhs Bangladeshi graduates are unemployed. Or in last year, there was a viral that Bangladesh became fourth remittance generation source for India. I mean, a lot of Indian, Chinese, and Philippines, Sri Lankans are working in Bangladesh, whereas Bangladeshi people are not getting jobs. What are the reasons behind that? If you talk to HR people, if you talk to the owners of the co companies, of course, you will find that they are searching. They're struggling to find the quality people, competent people, skilled people. And if you can enhance your skill set, of course, you'll be placed. And the companies will stop hiring the foreigners. They will recruit you. So jobs are there. Just you need to be skilled enough to get those jobs. Thank you very much for inviting me and uh, involving me with the whole procedure. As a judge, I tried my level best to give you marks based on these criteria. Thank you very much. Over to you, Lutfun uh, Nahajaya. Sorry, uh, the anchor uh, Nishad. Thank you, sir, for sparing his speech. 